Hello there, fellow zombie slayers. My name is Stanley557. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to access no HUD on Black Ops 4 using a mod menu. First things first, you're going to need to own Black Ops 4 on PC. If you don't own it, well, have fun shilling $60 to Activision. You're going to need three things for this tutorial. Visual Studio Code, which is the first link in the description. The BO4 Lucy mod menu, which is the second link in the description. And finally, the T7 compiler, which will be the third link in the description. Let's go over them one by one. Visual Studio Code will allow you to inject code into the game. All you have to do is download it. Obviously, I already have it downloaded, and you'll see it right here. Once everything is ready, it should look something like this. The second link is the BO4 Lucy menu. To download the menu and zip file, go over to the code and download zip. I've had issues where if you don't have an account installed with GitHub, it won't be able to let you download it. So if you're having issues, make an account and then see if it'll let you download. And finally, you have the T7 compiler. This is probably the most important, as using this will allow you to use menus like BO4's Lucy menu and other mod menus in the future. Just simply download the zip and you'll be all good. Okay, first things first, locate the T7 compiler folder once you pull it out of the zip file. You're going to want to scroll down, and you're going to want to look for a file called T7 installer, and you're going to want to install it. By the way, on a side note, make sure you look for the external DLL file folder. This is a very important file. If you don't have it, it's most likely that your antivirus is preventing it from being able to go onto the computer. You might need to disable the antivirus and let it through, or see what else is causing issues. But usually this is the biggest one. And you're going to click T7 installer, and well, install. There are going to be two options that you need to do. You're going to want to create install compiler, and then install VSC extension. I've already done both of these, but once you do, command prompt should pop up, and they both should be done instantly. Pressing install VSC extension will allow stuff like code entered into Visual Studio Code to be installed into Black Ops 4. Once all that is done, find out where the zip file is for the BO4 Lucy menu, and then unpack it. Once you did everything right, you should be able to find a file called the BO4 Lucy menu. The menu type is going to be a code workspace source file. Double click that, and it should open immediately into VSC. It should look something like this. You should see all these little folders and menus. Once everything is ready, go over to Manage, and go over to Keyboard Shortcuts. Then, type in Run Test Task. You're going to see this command right here. Make sure you change a keybind to something that you don't usually use. For example, I would use 0 because I don't use that in the game. Once the keybind is ready, I usually like to go over to Task.json. Now that all of this is prepared, it should look something like this. Now let's go into Black Ops 4. Once Black Ops 4 is loaded, you're going to go into the Zombies menu. This is where you'll be injecting all the code that you have. Doing it anywhere else in the game will crash the game instantly. Now go back over to your VSC file, and you're going to press your keybind to inject the code. If everything goes right, you should see this green text right here, and the game should be injected. If not, you're going to need to work backwards and see what's causing it. Typically, it's an antivirus issue that doesn't let it load or inject it into the computer because it's afraid it's a virus. Once all that is set, we're going to be loading right into Voyage of Despair. Now, by the way, I'm going to be using controller for this tutorial, but I'll try my best to tell you and explain which commands they are so that you can translate them to keyboard and mouse. Once you're in the game, aim down sight and knife. And there you go, you have the menu loaded. All you have to do is press fire to go down the menu and aim down sight to go back up the menu. You're gonna notice the game jittering. It's gonna do that whenever you traverse to the menu. The main thing we're looking for is the no HUD. So press the interact button to go into a menu. Then all you have to do is disable the HUD. Press interact one more time and it's gone. And then knife a few times and it's gonna go away. And then after a little bit, you'll even notice the dots on the left will fully disappear. And there you go. That's a tutorial on how to load the mod menu in Black Ops 4 on PC. 
And by the way, I'd highly recommend going through everything in this mod menu. There are so many cool options that you can do. And they're all really easy to set up too. And there you go. I'd highly recommend everyone to try out this mod. Especially if you have BO4 on PC. It's quick and easy to set up, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you all for watching. And remember, keep on slaying.